Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very, very, very fun video that I am so excited to film. I've been meaning to film this for the longest time. Like I've had this app for a couple months now and for some reason I just haven't filmed it. But today I'm finally filming Tinder Boys Control What It Eats In A Day. And I am so excited. I think this is such a funny video idea. But I turned 18 June of last year. I just forgot that I could get Tinder at 18. Like it just wasn't something that was on my mind. And so I completely forgot about the video idea. And then I think in like December I realized, oh yeah, I'm 18. I can download Tinder. So I downloaded it. And then I just forgot. So yes, that is what I'm going to be doing today. I am going to be going through my Tinder matches, messaging a bunch of what I should eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner whatever and getting their responses and I'm gonna be cooking exactly whatever they tell me to make if they want to sabotage me I guess they could if I ask them what to make for breakfast and they tell me something disgusting I gotta make it because they're in full control I'm actually going to be filming the food tomorrow but in this first clip I need to go through my tinder matches and you know message people because one I have to be prepared in case they don't answer so I'm gonna be messaging a couple different people like per meal and then two if they want me to make something with ingredients that I don't have, obviously I need time to go to the store. So that's why I have to do this the day before. Before I head on to Tinder, I do want to just say that any single person's photos who were in this video, I ask them, of course off camera, not going to be filming the whole thing, but I will be asking every single person's pictures who are in this video that they have my full permission to put them in this video. So please do not think that, you know, I'm putting anyone on blast that does not want to be publicly like shown. Every single person you know, gave me their consent for this. So let's get started. So yes, here's my Tinder. Here are the matches, you know, that I have that I can sort through and choose who I want to message for this. I think I'm going to message three different people for breakfast, three different people for lunch, and three different people for dinner. Obviously, I'm only going to be making one breakfast, one lunch, and one dinner, but I need to message more than one person because one, they may not reply. I can't wake up tomorrow with no breakfast response. And then two, they might reply, but then when I do ask them if they want to be on YouTube, they may say no. So I need three people just for backups because um, I don't want to be left without, oops, oh, what did I just do? Don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let's go find a first person to message for breakfast. Um, Carl, let's look at Carl. Carl? I think Carl looks nice. Hi, what should I make for breakfast tomorrow? So I'm gonna send that, very simple, straight to the point. I'm gonna send a follow-up message saying, make it specific and fun. Okay, make it specific and fun. There we go. Okay, now I need to find two more people to um, message for breakfast. Um, Danny. Pacific and fun. Okay, two out of three down. One more. We are going to choose Owen. Okay, three boys down, six more to go. Let's go find our first person for lunch. Nick. Let's see. Yep, looks great. What should I make for lunch tomorrow? Nice. Oh my god, maybe I should message another Nick. I'm gonna message a different Nick. <laughs> Let's see if I have a different Nick. If I have three Nicks in here, I would be so happy. That'd be so funny. Okay. I... am gonna search if I have... Ha! I have a third Nick. Perfect. Okay. Lunch is done. Three Nicks. One Nick is bound to reply. I really hope so. Dinner time. We're gonna, I'm gonna select someone at random. BK. Okay, cool. Love him. And fun. Okay. Malcolm. He looks not. Um. No, I don't like him. I don't really like him either. No, I don't like him either. Ryan looks great. Hi. Specific and fun. Okay. Alex and fun. This guy in his bio says part-time vegan. So hopefully he gives me something like plant-based. That'd be really cool and super helpful. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not telling any of them that I'm vegan or they should make it vegan because I'm going to just make whatever they say vegan. So if they say like a burger, I'm going to make a vegan burger. So yeah, I can make any, um, Thing vegan. I need one more person for dinner. I'm gonna choose one more person and they're my last one, so I've gotta make it good. Okay, we're gonna go with Riley. No particular reason, but hi and fun. 
Okay, here we go. I have now sent all of my messages. They all look the same, because they are the same. I'm just gonna wait, see what my responses are, and I'll catch up with you all tomorrow for the time when we reveal, you know, what they said. And hopefully they're, I really hope I get responses. If I don't get responses, I'll be very mad, but we'll see. Oh, also I'm coming in to say, let me know if you want a part two. I don't know when this will be, but whenever COVID is not a thing anymore, I thought it would be so funny if I had someone plan a breakfast, someone plan a lunch, and someone plan a dinner, like all different Tinder guys, and I go on three different dates in one day, and they control what to eat, because like they choose the food. When COVID is over, that could be in a long time. But like, let me know because I think that would be a really fun idea. Hello, so it's actually two days later now and I have responses. So it is breakfast time and I'm gonna get started on breakfast and we got a response for breakfast. This is from Carl, so thank you, Carl. He says, quote from him, make some pancakes with bacon on them and then just put like a weird amount of syrup on them. Sounds good, I'm going to do that. I have all my pancake ingredients right here. It's not my recipe, it's my tasty, tasty vegan fluffy pancakes, something like that. Check it out if you want, it's my favorite pancake recipe. And then I need bacon, which obviously I need vegan bacon for, but I have a story time about this. When I was moving out of my apartment like two weeks ago, of course the very last thing you know I put into the truck when we were leaving the last time was freezer stuff because it was frozen. And I never got to show you the actual state of the truck when we were driving away. It was so full, like the entire bed of the truck was full. And I have a shell in the back of my truck, so like it went really high, the whole back seat was filled. And there was basically just no room for anything, but I hate throwing things away. My friends were like, Ashley, you have to like, you have to throw this food away. I did not like that idea. It's like, no way. They eventually convinced me because you know, I realized we had no room, but I had some vegan bacon in the freezer and they were trying to get me to throw away everything. But for some reason, I would not throw away this vegan bacon. I was like, no, like you guys don't understand. I'm going to need this for a video soon. Like, I just know it. And if I throw this away, I have to go out and buy more. So like, I need this. And little did I know, two weeks later, Carl will tell me to make bacon. I think I predicted it. So good thing I have vegan bacon, but yes. Let's get started on the pancakes. Flour, sugar, baking powder. I made banana bread the other day. I did not add baking powder. <laughs> it didn't turn out very well. I still ate a bunch of it, but. I'm learned from my mistake. I am not forgetting baking powder anymore. Salt. It was probably way too much salt. And mix it all together with a grapefruit spoon. Don't know why that was my utensil of choice. Almond milk, some apple cider vinegar, and vanilla extract. Looks good to me. I think I had added a little bit um, too much apple cider vinegar, but we'll have to see. It smells a little strong. Pancake batter done, and all I'm gonna do is cook it up with some bacon and maple syrup, so. It's kind of self-explanatory, but let's get cooking. bacon on top, I think. Or maybe I read it wrong, but we're gonna go with that. Okay, and the very last thing that he said to do was to put a weird amount of syrup on them, which I assume means a lot. Which I'm a little sad about, because I feel like it's gonna ruin them. I would just like to say that at the time, for some reason, I thought that was a lot of syrup. Watching this back, it's just not, so. Sorry, but I can't go back, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, here we go. Time for the taste test. I mean, I knew I was gonna like it. Why wouldn't I like this? But I'm very happy with this breakfast choice. So thank you, Carl. I'm gonna finish eating this. And then I'll see you all for lunch and see what the next Tinder boy has me eating. So it's now lunchtime going out of Tinder because I have Help from Nick. I remember I messaged like three Nicks for lunch. Luckily, one of the Nicks helped me out. So basically he says to make a chicken wrap 
You need spinach, diced tomatoes, sliced onions, Chick-fil-A sauce, and grilled chicken, of course. There's, of course, a couple of modifications to, you know, make it vegan. And I first have these Morningstar, like, grilled chicken pieces. If it was, like, not for this video, just my recreation of this, kind of, I would have done, like, the Gardein chicken strips. Um, but those are breaded. They're not grilled, so I didn't want to use them because it doesn't go along with his recipe. And then instead of, like, the normal Chick-fil-A sauce, since it has dairy, I'm going to be using the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A because it's still a Chick-fil-A sauce. It might not be the Chick-fil-A sauce or just Chick-fil-A sauce, but it's the closest thing that I can get. Um, it's still a sauce from Chick-fil-A. It works. So yes, I have everything ready. I just need to kind of cook up the grilled chicken pieces. I've never had this product before, I don't think. So it may or may not be good, but I'm gonna put some of this in the pan, heat up the wrap, and then put all the other things. never focuses and it's super okay cool. <laughs> never mind okay so basically it is um the night before and i did get two out of three dinner responses however both of them are not what i wanted so we're going to have to go and find you know new people the message um i first got a response from malix not at all what i was looking for next person and then i did get a response from riley which was much nicer he said can it be the setting too still just not what i was looking for so we're going back and we are going to message <laughs> i guess three new people asking for dinner because one person didn't reply and then the two responses that i did get were not any dinner um advice so let's find three more people really quickly okay first we are going to message henry he seems like he's very nice and i think he can give me a good dinner recommendation hi what should okay ari next person last person cole hi cole ari oh henry already replied <laughs> it's not what i wanted either he just said loaf loaf of what variety Can you please reply when I'm still filming? <laughs> you know. Loaf, loaf. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, hello. It is now time for dinner. And we have the help of, I believe his name is Ari. First, I asked him what I should make for dinner, and he replied saying I should make the feta TikTok tomato pasta, which I was not expecting anyone to say. If you were subscribed, then you saw that I made that like a week and a half ago maybe on my channel, so I wasn't going to make it again. As much as, you know, I do want them to control what I'm eating, I want you guys to be entertained, I don't want to make the same meal that I made last week. So I was like, I felt really bad, but I was like, thank you so much for your answer, but can you tell me something else? And yes, he did. So he said curry, and so I am making curry. I'm going out of town for a little bit tomorrow, so I did decide I'm going to take the lazy approach to making curry. Um, I have a pre-made sauce. I normally make it from coconut milk, but since this, you know, has like preservatives in it, if I use half the jar today, save it in the fridge until I come back, make another meal, that's fine. But I can't keep a like jar of half-used coconut milk in the fridge expecting it to stay nice for next week. So that's why I did that. But I have a bunch of veggies, I'm gonna cook them. I have like bell peppers, carrots, broccoli. That might be it. Um, I cook some jasmine rice and I'm gonna throw it all together. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to throw in some of this vegan chicken from earlier because I just realized I just did not buy a protein source. Normally would have done tofu, but I'll make a chicken curry, so cool. I'm gonna cook it all. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Pretty simple. know if I have talked about this on YouTube before I've not put it in TikToks I love garlic like I put garlic in everything I cook an absurd amount of garlic I think 
There's no such thing as too much garlic. And I have put this in like what I eat in a day TikToks before and everyone yells at me. But I love pickled garlic. No Tinder boy told me to eat pickled garlic, so sorry. But it's so good. finished the curry I said I was gonna make one serving I definitely made more than one I always do that though I always cut up vegetables and then I realize I'm cutting mmm I say way too much half the time I eat it all but this time I actually think it was way too much so yes I'm going to eat this for dinner and then that is gonna be the end of the day I think that this was such a fun video to film and I really really enjoyed it I have a few other ideas coming up for blank controls that I eat in a day and I am so, I'm like equally excited for all of them and I can't wait. So thank you to every single person who participated in this video. Um, and it was probably a weird Tinder message to get, but thank you so much. And thank you to all of you guys who watched. It means a lot to me and I don't know, I'm super excited for this video. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one.